Hey guys, Stephanie here, and I'm so excited to share with you my January Project Life album. If you follow along with me on my blog or even Instagram, you've probably seen me mention that I'm taking a little bit of a different approach this year as far as Project Life is concerned, and I'm switching things up a little bit. This is my fifth year of doing Project Life, and every other year I have done um, a traditional 12 by 12 album, but this year I wanted to just play around with my supplies more, get a little creative, and try some new things. So, my thought as of right now, January obviously, is to do a monthly Project Life album or book. So I'm still going to use my Project Life supplies, um, Project Life page protectors, but I just want to try a bunch of different sizes. Um, a bunch of different ideas and just kind of get a little bit more creative in my albums. So this is my January book. This is a binder. Um, it was a full three ring binder um, that completely opened up kind of like a school binder. Um, I got it at Target and I just trimmed off the sides and punched my holes so I could add in different size page protectors and I wasn't constrained to like the size of the album. So here's the beginning of my album. This is the 2015 overlay from the Far Far Away Project Life Kit. Then here I printed a photo collage, which you've probably seen this before if you follow along with me, but this, these are kind of my favorite pictures from 2014. I used um, uh, the online Pick Monkey to create my collage and printed it out and then just punched my holes and added it right into my album. So I thought that was just a really nice little kind of album opening there. This is a digital brush from the Far Far Away Digitals. I just printed it on a piece of vellum and I like the way you can see through to the next page. So this is kind of my thought. I put this together before January, so I put it together in December. And these were kind of the different things that I wanted to add into my album. Stuff like this, just a little bit more creative in my book, have a little bit more play. This is kind of, I guess, maybe a title page. I trimmed down um, several of the Far Far Away Project Life cards and slipped them. I did some stitching and then just slipped them into the pocket. This page protector is um, was a 12 by 12, but I just trimmed it down kind of the size that I needed for my album. Um, that is one of the um, cut files from the Far Far Away um, digitals. Same thing there. And then here, this is just a Project Life card. And I just slipped this, punched a hole, and slipped it right into the album as it was. So I think Wilna did this card um, that was included in the Project Life kit. And I just thought it was the perfect kind of entry into my album. And I like having um, things in my book. So when I thought about this whole process, I wanted to have things in my album that weren't necessarily behind plastic. So I wanted to have more of a touch and feel bit to my album. So I just included that card right there. This is the January wood veneer, which I stitched into place and then onto a piece of clear transparency. So you can kind of have a little peekaboo see-through effect there. These are just some random photos. Um, one of the things I mentioned when I talked about it on my blog is that I tend to have, I tend to take a lot of photos. And so the problem with Project Life wasn't that I didn't have the room to fit them in there, just that I felt like as far as getting creative with the number of photos I had, I was either doing a bunch of photo collages to slip into like a four by six pocket, um, or I was leaving photos out. So I just wanted to do a couple different things in, by using this system. So here, these are all the same day, and I printed them out and then used my circle punch to punch them out. Just put them on a piece of white car stuck there. Um, this is another photo of the same day, and I used Photoshop to make it, I forget what the size is, but I made it large, and basically I just cut it down the middle and then printed it out um, on two, I printed each side separately and then adhered them back to back. So this is kind of a good example of my thought process when I was thinking about how I wanted to approach Project Life this year. I want to have a good bit of larger photos, special photos, and stuff like that. 
there's another enlarged photo so I just printed a photo the same size and I guess you can't see it but I adhered, adhered them back to back here this is a photo from it might have been taken on New Year's Eve so this would technically be December but I thought it was perfect for a January book and I printed it as you can see onto a piece of vellum um, I thought it looked pretty cool with the text behind it this piece of paper here um, is actually a Studio Calico, um, like one of the cardboard pieces that stickers or something are in front of it just to keep them from bending. And I painted something that you'll see in a second and these extra little bits ended on there and I thought it looked kind of cool just to use as a journaling card. So I did my journaling there, typed my journaling there, and then added my date and backed it with a piece of pattern paper and then just a, um, a little die cut. This was from one of the add-ons. I, I can't remember exactly which one it was from, um, from the January add-ons. But so this is one thing that I want to try to do in my books is to think outside of my supplies and use as much as I can. Just like really stretch my supplies and use as many products as I can instead of just thinking about my cards, my Project Life cards in general. More photos here and then a Project Life card and here, I told you, I take a lot of photos, I, and I just can't delete them. I can delete a lot, but I can't delete them all. So the, these are just kind of the outtakes, and I just think they're funny to look back on. So I did a photo collage there. Um, here I used the silk screen, um, and then that little card right here, this one, this is where that extra paint came from. So I did the silk screen on the, using this as my background, and then I just ended up with the extras. I thought it looked kind of cool. So I used the silk screen there that was included in the kit, the Project Life kit. And then these are our, some photos from the beach. I did two collages there of our photos. And then I backed the collage with one large photo. These are the um, stamps. This stamp set, I can't remember for lucky what that's called. Um, I used this stamp set to stamp the little Hey Mom, Can You Add Bubbles, which went perfectly with my picture. And I do not usually stamp, but I always want to stamp. So that's my, another goal with my album this year is to actually use my products to get things out to play around not really worry if it's 100 percent perfect it's not going on a page or a layout it's just going to be nicely folded and tucked into this book so that's how i did that one there and then on the back i just trimmed um a journaling card and i wrote my journaling on there just about the bubbles and a couple more photos which i just punched a hole in and added right into the book. Another journaling card, another photo, and another journaling card with a stamps, a couple stamps and some writings. And this is just a menu that was from the place that we stayed, the hotel we stayed. I just grabbed an extra menu. I don't know why, I just like to keep stuff like this. I've kept stuff like this forever and I've always felt a little bit like a hoarder, but I like keeping business cards and magazines and so this is the perfect little album for that this is a six by eight i mean a six by eight page protector with the two three by fours and one four by six just added my journaling and my photos there another journaling card and two more photos with the text there and then anytime i find my kids artwork laying around the house i like to add them punch holes and add them and that's one thing i didn't do with all my previous albums. Occasionally I would tuck um, like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper into a page protector or something. But for the most time, like I would have trimmed off, tried to cut this picture out into a four by six. And I just like to keep, I wanted to keep the whole thing. I wanted to keep more of their artwork. So the next couple pages are my daughter and her obsession with Frozen and Elsa and Anna. And then a couple for my son. He's a little bit younger, obviously. And then I have just another page protector, which is that same, um, it was a 12 by 12, and I just trimmed it down to fit into my book. More pictures from our month so far. Um, I tucked in a little sheet that it had 
just some errands, groceries, just stuff that I thought might be fun to look back down the years just to see what where we were going or the things we were doing or what we were planning on. Another um, little piece of memorabilia and tickets that I paper clipped right onto the side. And then this is a calendar that I just created. This is a digital brush from the um, uh, Far Far Away Digitals. So I just added that there with the calendar. And then I just add little bits and pieces that we have going on here in January. So that's where my book is now. It is the, today is the 13th of January. So these are kind of our memories thus far in our little bits and pieces of life. And my goal is just to work on it at random whenever I have pictures, print out a collage and pop them in pockets, not really worried about sizes or um, having, you know, having to complete a full spread all at one time. Um, if I just have one picture and one memory, um, kind of like, like this is just my favorite, kind of like this one, like one picture, one memory that I can just add a picture add like some fun stamps or a journaling card and then call that memory included. Like just be done with that, not have to worry about adding in additional pages or photos or cards. But that's kind of a look at my January. I hope you like it, I love it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm gonna take with February, but it's gonna be something fun and probably a little different from this size just to try out something new. So I hope you guys will just follow along with me and if you have any questions just let me know. Thanks so much guys.